According to the deputy majority leader, who doubles as the member of parliament for Futu, the passage of the e-levy did not come easy as it was faced with stiff opposition, particularly from the National Democratic Congress. The Futu member of parliament indicated that the introduction of the e-levy is more of a necessity than a luxury since it will address particularly road infrastructure concerns and also help government push some social intervention policies that will lessen the burden on Ghanaians. The Futu MP who was speaking to City News at the homecoming event organized by the Tertiary Students Confederacy Chapter of the University of Education, Winneba, reiterated the need for government to achieve a transparent system of disbursement for Ghanaians to see the benefit of the levy. I am contending on all these forms that the imposition of the e-levy is a matter of necessity. As a result of the manifest posture of this government, by way of reducing taxes, abolishing taxes, introducing social services, in bringing about social intervention programs without coming to ask a Ghanaian taxpayer to pay for it. It is my contention that the introduction of the e-levy is a necessity. And it is a necessity to address two things. One, many of you graduate and the problem is employment. Two, many of us complain about our roads and that is a reality. In Parliament today, almost 90%, if not more, of all questions that are filed by MPs border on roads because all of us have difficulty traveling to our villages and our communities and our towns. This e-levy is going to be a dedicated fund. It's not going into the consolidated fund to fix the roads. Some members of the new patriotic party who were at the event urged the leadership of Tescon to help the party break the aid by spreading the good policies of the government. 2024 is a critical year for us. Do not sit here and think that we have won already. We are saying break there. For them, they also think that our eight-year mandate is up. Know that the party should make history by breaking the eight so that you also say that in my time, we broke the chains. We made sure that the party stayed in power even after eight years. We need a party that is hungry for power. Breaking the eight has become a mantra, but that's not about it. It's to, it's to tackle the 2024 election as, as if we are in opposition. We should go after the 2024 election with a restructured party led by a strong chairman, led by a strong executive. Then we will win 2024 and install an MPP president after the Nadu Dankwa We have our own challenges and problems. You may have your own expectations that are yet unmet, but don't give up. Let nobody deceive you that we are not going to address our challenges. We will, because we want to break the eight. The Member of Parliament for a Futu constituency, Honorable Alexander Pamina Apenyo Market, has justified reasons for the passage of the E-Levy. Carl City News, Winneba.